Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And today we're going to be talking about the future changes coming sooner than later, as early as possibly next week. That includes bottom fishing, that includes new legendaries, that includes updates such as performance based things. We're going to get into it. I'm going to hop into the angler official discord we're going to discuss the recent news while we are doing that if you would please do me a favor hit that like subscribe notify bell and remember december 21st we have a subathon coming up right here on youtube make sure to tune in for that i'm going to be doing some fishing while we discuss what is about to happen It's like we got a little camizo barbel here. Still trying. I'm still searching for my dime. People says everybody, everybody says that the camizo dime is so easy to get, and it just keeps eluding me. Well, there's just a nice little silver, fifteen point three four, respectable fish. All right, guys. If you look at the angler official Discord up here at the top, the angler updates. We look at that. We see dev updates are back. Some of the veteran server members might remember that EW Gaz used to post developer updates in the general chat. Keep you in the loop of what EW was cooking. Well, the EW community managers are now joining forces with our busy executive producer Gaz to help him make more extensive updates that are accessible for everyone. That means you won't get them every week. But when you do get them, it's because we'll have a lot that we can't wait to say. For those who don't know, the dev update is exactly what it sounds like. It's our way of informing you about what we're working on right now. We just posted the first one on the community tracker. Please excuse our excessive mention of bean spilling, as it was my fault and not Gaz's. I couldn't share the whole thing in this channel if I wanted to because there's just that much bean spilling. Uh, so we're gonna click here to read about it. When you click on it, it takes you to this. And as you can see here, click on show more, upcoming fi fixes. We're gonna talk about all this stuff, legendaries and challenges, PlayStation 4 stability, improved catching, features in early development, third person vehicle camera, hot topic, more fish, Improved casting, patch 1.50, bottom fishing, Spain legendaries, and souvenirs. And then down here at the bottom, we hope you want to see more fun things like our Halloween event because dot, 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 help. We're trying to hold all these beans. So she was basically saying we're going to get something for Christmas. All right, let's hop into it. Our upcoming fixes. While there are buckets of fixes we're working on, here are a few big ones. Legendaries and challenges. The elephant in the room is that this week, the legendaries and challenges have been down. Okay, we'll come clean. There were some mistakes, some instances of people getting too much money and messing up the entire angler economy. To folks that unintentionally banked out on their fish, don't worry. You got lucky, we're not rolling any progression back and you'll be fishing for legendaries and com completing challenges again next week as normal. PlayStation 4 stability. With many patches, we've been slowly addressing crashes on the PlayStation 4 and are happy to see less and less issues in the community. But we know there are still players experiencing a specific crash. We are working on a fix and should have that out soon but not until after the next big update. Thank you so much for standing by while we turn these cogs. Improved catching, say goodbye to secure catch wonkiness. Features in early development. We don't want to spill the whole can of beans, but here are a couple features we've started working on. Third person vehicle camera. We know things can get bumpy driving around on the four x four and boats. So we are looking into adding a third person camera to make sure you can drive in a way that most that's most comfortable for you. It sounds simple to implement. Just pull the camera out and GG easy, right? 
Well, not quite. There are so many complications that came that can come with it. For example, the camera could be moved into a building or wall. The feature is now in early development, so we can't confirm when this is coming, but we hear you, motion sick gamers, and we'll prescribe you your digital nausea pills as soon as we can. More fish. Ah, the crux of any fishing game, the variety of fish. Who doesn't want that? Again, to avoid the risk of spilling all of our beans, let's just say we'll be getting a few more in a reserve near you. Hmm, does that mean new reserve with new fish on it or some type of backfill? Interesting. Improved casting. We are also expanding our range of casting options to make sure you have finer control in how you cast. All right, patch 1.5.0. Didn't we confirm it's coming before the end of the year? Last we checked, it's December, so hold on to your hats, anglers. Here's just a peek at a couple of the many things to come in patch 1.5.0. Bottom fishing. Many live streams ago, we officially confirmed that no fishing technique is off the table. Lo and behold, the next technique is bottom fishing. Many of you pointed out that there were several new carp species in the new Spain reserve, so we couldn't hide it for long. Very soon, you'll be able to catch our little bottom dwellers with this new technique. Not just in Aguas Claras, but in non-Spanish, non-Carpy locations as well. So we're gonna be getting bottom fishing on all maps. Please note that although we know many of you are expecting rod holders with this technique, in reality, implementing rod holders is a big undertaking that would need lots of time to cook. That, of course, doesn't mean it's off the table for the future, but it won't be coming anytime soon. Spain legendaries and souvenirs. Kareem will have wares in the souvenir shop and these new legendary fish that you've heard so many rumors about will be making an appearance sooner than you might think. I think they're coming next week, guys. I really do. I think they're coming next week when they fix, you know, all the issues with the challenges and the and all that. I think I think we're going to see them. I think we're going to see them Wednesday. I could be wrong. I think we will. As we wrap it up, let us just say a big thank you for reading this far and continuing to support our labor of love. We will continue to work with the community in improving the angler and have a big patch very soon with loads of things to look forward to as early as next week. And that is in bold print. Happy angling, Gaz and the community team. All right, guys, there it is. Everything that there is to know in the patch notes. What do you think about it? I love the fact that as early as next week is in bold letters. I really do think guys that we are going to be getting the legendaries next week. I think it's going to be, I think Wednesday night is going to be wild. I tell you the first place I'm looking, I'm going to the cave. I think the eel will be the first legendary that we get to see. I don't know this, that's just what I'm feeling. I think the eel and everybody's talked about the cave and how there is no diamonds. Nobody's catching diamonds in the cave of any species that we know of. And everybody's like, why does everybody make a big deal out of the cave? Blah, blah, blah. I think that's going to be one of the legendary eel locations. I think that's what's going to make the cave special. That's the first place I'm going to look for legendaries until I know otherwise that's where I'm going to go and not just in the place that you fast travel to but I'm going to go to the little river system that's like in the middle of the cave like midway through on the other side you walk through I've caught some eels there in that little river area on both sides so I think looking there and where you can fast travel to is a very good bet for eel that's just what I'm saying don't know that nobody's told me that that's just what I'm going to do but let me know what you think. I know it's a little bit of a disappointment that we are not getting rod holders. That was one of the big things. Could you imagine being able to go and fish for Sidewinder, lay the rod down and fish for other fish, you know, while you're waiting, and then he hits and you pick it up and catch him. That would be so convenient, so nice. But they are being transparent with us. They're telling us, and I, and I applaud that. That's, that's what I like to see. Let, let us know things. Let us know things. 
and that was that was very nice of them to fill us in on what's going on we got some big guy coming over right now looks like but anyway guys do me a favor let me know what you think in the comments are you excited i can't wait i think it's going to be awesome especially when we get these new legendaries i want the challenges to be working too dang it i'm trying to get to 100 and that's hard to do without challenges but let's hook this guy and see what we do. Do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, and notify bell. The, the channel is really taking off here lately and growing and growing and growing. And it's all because of you guys. And don't forget, December 21st, I'm going to have my very first subathon. We're going to learn from that. Most people do that on Twitch. I'm doing it on YouTube. I know subs are free. I don't care. I'm just trying to grow the channel. Um, I will add some things for members and, and gifting memberships and things like that and because I'm always appreciative of money, but it's not about the money. It's about just growing the channel and being out there in this awesome community, putting this content like this out for you guys. Thank you so much for all the recent support and catch us over on Twitch as well, Darth underscore Sloan. Tackle Tuesdays, we'll be streaming on YouTube around 8 p.m. Eastern. Twitch streams are usually around 4.30 or 5 p.m. We will catch you in the next video.